my name is James Bryant and I'm coming to you today from Crystal Bridges Museum in Rogers, Arkansas. And we're going to talk about Henry Kirk Brown's The Choosing of the Arrow. It's a bronze sculpture that was made in 1869. Okay, here we have Henry Kirk Brown's The Choosing of the Arrow. He made this piece at the request of the American Art Union, a New York based lottery organization. Brown studied portraiture with Chester Harding in Boston, where he was also introduced to clay. He also traveled to Italy, where he studied for five years, and when he returned to the U.S., he became very interested in the Native American culture. He actually went to Mackinac Island on Lake Huron in Michigan to study the Indians and learn about their lifestyle. The Choosing of the Arrow was the first bronze cat bronze statue cast in the United States. It symbolizes the growing interest in American themes. There were 20 total statues cast of this sculpture, and he also created a statue of DeWitt Clinton for Brooklyn, New York's Greenwood Cemetery. <clears throat> he did portrait busts and equestrian sculpture along with Native American work. This sculpture shows us good balance in its stature, and Brown did a great job producing symmetry within the piece. It gives us a very realistic style when you think about how Native Americans probably were in that time period. It does have an idealized posture to it, as you can tell from its contrapposto stance. With the contrapposto stance, it provides us with an even more realistic perception of this piece and a more natural stance. When you look at the piece, it takes you back in time when the land was wild and unsettled, when the, tri the tribes had control of the land. Its naturalistic pose of reaching back for the arrow gives you a sense that he is either hunting for food or he could be a warrior preparing for battle. It draws you in, causing you to wonder what he is getting ready to do once he has the arrow in his hand. You might even ask, is there a certain arrow he might be wanting, depending on the purpose? Hence the name, The Choosing of the Arrow. Brown was using an iconographic method when designing the sculpture. The sculpture stance, while reaching around to grab the arrow, could be interpreted as a story in the history of the tribe he studied. It could have been a poor tribe where they were very dependent on hunting to provide food. The sculpture's careful movement to choose an arrow could mean that he found the animal he was looking for and needed to carefully bring the arrow to, arrow to his bow. Brown was also using a biographical interpretation when he sculpted this. He was so fascinated with the American, Native American people and their way of life that he actually lived with them and studied them very carefully. Some tribes were nomadic, and Brown did travel while studying the arts. He could have been re relating his life with the Native Americans in the travel, and maybe hardships he encountered along the way. His time spent among the tribes could be associated with his personal experiences prior to that. The choosing of the arrow represents the 19th century realism on our timeline of art. While it has a classical look and reinterpretation, from some of the early Renaissance features. He uses naturalism very well in this piece that is finely detailed. The body, while detailed and using the contrapposto stance, isn't as detailed as some of the later sculptures in ancient Greece and Rome. The hair on the sculpture is more detailed, which would relate to more of the Hellenistic influence from Greece, with the long flowing hair and the knot on the front of the head. The detail in the quiver, arrows, and bow the man has shows attention to what they might have really used in that time. The sculptor's right arm reaching over his shoulder for the arrow provides you with a realistic movement that he would be making. You can see how the positioning of his left foot and he is making the movement. He also is positioning his bow to the shooting position as he reaches for the arrow. Even the face of the sculpture has a very straight classical look and expression, but the detail used on the sculpture is definitely from 19th century realism. I chose Henry Kirk Brown's The Choosing of the Arrow because of the relational sense I got from it. I haven't had a lot of exposure to artistic things in my life, 
so I feel that this piece relates to my personality. When I look at the sculpture, I picture a Native American hunter looking to provide food for his family and tribe. Sometimes you might find yourself asking, what would it be like to live off the grid and provide for yourself? This piece provides me with a look back in time when times were simpler and people had more of a relationship with the land. I admire the way Brown sought out the Native Americans and were able to relate to them and show us in detail a piece of their lifestyle. I think he truly gave us a sense of their lifestyle in this piece, The Choosing of the Arrow.